Our first essay is going to be an autobiographical essay. I want you to include where you're from, where you were born, brothers and sisters, parents, uh, school experience, work experience. Uh, I want you to tell me whatever you feel is relevant about yourself. I want to know your career goals. Uh, I want to know what books you like to read and why. I'd like to know some of your favorite movies. Uh, I'd like to know as much about yourself as you can fit in to a three-page essay. I'm not asking you to write a book at the same time. I want more than a paragraph. The essays that you hand in will all be double-spaced and 16 font. Essays that do not follow those regulations will be sent back until you get it right. If you do that two or three times, then you're going to be in hot water because I, I'm going to get tired of sending it back. This is a diagnostic essay. This will tell me what you and I need to work on. It will tell me what kind of sentences you're writing. It will tell me about your paragraph development, about your syntax, about your subject verb, your prepositions. Uh, it'll tell me all kinds of things about your writing. We are all experiencing, and I'm including myself, different problems with our writing. I don't want to work with you on something that you've already mastered. I want to work with you on your weak points. Do the best job that you can. I would hope that you do the best job with all the essays that you send in. But this is very important because we need to get an accurate sense of where your writing is. And this will provide it. This will provide a good starting point and it'll tell me what it is exactly that you need to work on. This class assumes, by the way, that you have been studying and writing the English language for 12 years, from K through 12. You probably started writing simple sentences in about the third grade. And since then, you've been studying syntax, uh, 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 your diagramming, your sentence structure, your vocabulary, we would call that diction, uh, form, and on and on and on. Rules of grammar, subject verb agreement, nouns, antecedents, uh, on and on and on. Uh, verbs, very important. I'm assuming you've had the grammar, mechanics, and usage because we're not going to spend a lot of time with that. I am not going to provide lessons in grammar, mechanics, and usage. I look forward to getting your work.